as the delegation of tasks to machines becomes widespread, my starting position in the latest work with the title The Labor of Making Labor Disappear was to explore the possibility of a machine-generated exhibition. So what if my labor as an artist would be automated? If an algorithm is developed based on the collected data set of my work in order to determine and predict my next artwork, would the algorithm then turn on itself? If an algorithm is created to interpret the individual's relation to technology and how the latter influences the nature of labor, that clearly implements such a machine in a particular loop. And I'm talking about a loop here because a large part of the data set for this prediction model actually refers to the causes and consequences, the alleged contradictions of automation, meaning that it incorporates parameters that actually classify the reason for its emergence. So it's a strange kind of loop in which basically its own properties as a machine are placed under observation by itself, rather like uh, using a microscope to examine some of its own lenses for possible defects. Additionally, as algorithms ripple through and integrate further with our work and daily lives, the future of work projections note creativity flexibility and innovative thinking as forecast skill demands that will be required of employees. So these skills that have been traditionally also attributed to the profession of the artist are supposed to be among the ones the least exposed to or the most resistant to automation. So many people will tell you that what they do requires creativity and that is something that cannot be expressed in the form of executable code or emulated by a machine and contemporary perception you usually sees creativity as something new, divergent, original, something that takes people by surprise. And yet, many tasks which might entail human faculties such as intuition, empathy, and creativity are already being outsourced to increasingly capable automated and automatizing systems that just perform them differently. So there are many ways to distill something into data points. I converted my labor as an artist, that is my work, research, and interests of the past 14 years into data. As data, features of artworks become tables of numbers. A creative decision emerges in a row of digits. I then turn the decision making over to the predictive algorithm who the machine uses the data set to sift through and recognize patterns. So what has over time become increasingly important to me and to what extent what was abandoned in order to determine the content and aesthetics of my next artwork. For the development and programming of the predictive model, I work with Istok Libarbaets and Jure Demshar from the Faculty of Computer and Information Science here in Ljubljana. The work's first stage was exhibited about a year ago. The exhibition included the data set, the algorithm's prediction, and the first artwork produced according to it. The data set was represented with a nine meter long bar, a strip of parameters, parameter as a concept, a password, content or technical term that is evaluated. Uh, parameters were taken out of descriptions of my works, technical writers, articles, reviews, basically anything that was written about my work, as well as from the research I did during at different time periods of my artistic labor. So the upper sections belong to my past 10 artworks and are marked with the time of their creation because the time dimension is really important for the algorithm to make its prediction. Lower, wider, greener bar represents the result, that is the algorithm's prediction, which is read in two dimensions. The width of each particular column shows the presence of that specific parameter in the next work and is also presented numerically while the field part, that is the non-shaded part, shows the level of confidence the algorithm has in its prediction. The work digital punch card um, is based on the algorithm's prediction and it depicts a fragment of the invisible and dispersed network of 
online global workforce performing tasks on the crowd-based micro-labor platform called MicroWorkers, seated in Texas, USA. The users were asked to download and install an app which tracked their activity on the platform. The timestamp mouse clips mouse clicks and keyboard presses they performed while working on a platform during a 24-hour period. Tracking and measuring their work, which is one of the parameters the algorithm identified as essential for this work, amounted to a huge mass of data. Um, fragmenting of jobs into outsourced tasks and dismantling of wages into micropayments sets up one of the most unregulated labor marketplaces, but is also directly linked with the principles of scientific management. Again, one of the parameters that the algorithm de decided it was essential for this work. But I will say that based on the obtained data on digital labor, and also uh, taking into account formal parameters that were highlighted by the algorithm, I made a series of photographs, two data-driven line drawings and two animations that show the traces of labor performed by people on the microworkers platform. I think uh, maybe I'll just say this, that jobs that used to be full-time occupations are now split into chunks. They are broken into these small packets of contract work that can be done 24-7 by a range of people in different time zones. And this is what a newly intensified for this production regime looks like. So we have a global assembly digital line that labors at their computer keyboards, performing behind the scenes tasks that make the internet or the technology appear more functional and intelligent than it is. The predictive power I described at the beginning is uh, limited in its forecast of the future outcome because it makes a selection from already made choices, meaning that even though this might be an original selection, it's still weighted down by choices that came before. So at every step of the way, this ability to create a new choice is heavily constrained by choices that came before. I think you can apply this to life in general. So, to br like in artistic setting, conceiving an artwork from the same conceptual depository isn't really imagining something new, but an alteration of existing input. So to break away from the machine algorithm rolling out combinations of prior existing data, and also to avoid sparking a feedback loop I, in the final stage of this work, provide the machine a look, a look at my contemporary investigations um, as an early window into the present disorganization of my thoughts. So this is the area of uncertainty that is being connected with the existing parameters of the past to cast the future projection of my next work. Then maybe it might produce something surprising, something that exceeds our expectations and could be mistaken or perceived for machines' creativity. Um, I wonder if this process can lead me to experience alienated labor, something super ironic given the fact that this technology is based on my work and wor working methods. And as a final note, because my practice often incorporates the production of technologically supported kinetic objects, this might entail for the algorithm itself a machine to conceive other machines as works of art. As I told you at the beginning, I am explorer of loops. Thank you.